Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another live review. Big up to everybody. As awful as that game was, thank God we won. Thank God we won. That, that, that's, I think, the most positive you're going to see me today because, like, that game still didn't prove anything. I come out that game still thinking Pochettino needs to leave and he needs to leave as soon as possible just for the, just for the sake of this club. Uh, he's an absolute loser, but thank God we have enough individual quality within our players to win the game because that's all that the difference really was. Even in spite of us being tired and playing 120 minutes, like fair play to the players for having the mental resolve to win this. That's all I really got. Poch is a coward. He's an absolute coward. This guy cannot even dominate a championship team that's missing their three best forwards. He has us sitting back in the second half and just inviting pressure, which led to the second goal. But thankfully, I mean, the subs were good. I didn't really have any complaints about the subs, thankfully. Um, we picked ourselves up after conceding a very silly first goal. It was so dumb. That was a dumb goal to concede. And I, I guess... That's about it in terms of the performance. Our individuals looked well. Caicedo was excellent today. Again, I've been saying this guy's been our best midfielder this season. He needs to be given his plaudits. He needs to be given his credit. Well deserved. Um, I thought Noni was good in terms of ball retention. And like he was involved in two of the goals as well. So there was some good passing from him, even though the end product was a little bit waning at times. Although it was only in some chances. Like, I know people were getting annoyed about that shot he had from that tight angle, but it's like, I get what he was trying to do. He was trying to go for the top left. And, like, it's a very tight angle, so, like, you need it to be perfect, and it wasn't necessarily perfect. It is what it is. But the first half, it didn't start well. Then we grew into it. Nice bit of combination play from Madueke, Kaiseido, and Jackson gets us the first goal. Good to see Jackson get into one of the corners as well. Um, the second goal was nice build-up play between Madueke, Sterling, and um, Mudrick. And I think Mudrick did all right in the 10. I'm not going to say he was amazing. I'm not going to say, wow, we've unlocked him. I'm not going to say anything like that. But it was promising. I wouldn't be against seeing it again. It weren't too bad. It weren't too bad. Solid performance from Mudrick in the 10. I wouldn't be against seeing it again. You might see it again because I would expect Enzo to get dropped for the next match. Both Enzo and Caicedo played 120 minutes and they've played this game as well. Now we play three days time at Brentford. He's going to be exhausted. So I would rather see Caicedo stay in the team over Enzo because I think his, his role is a lot more important for us. And we just try and figure out what to do with Gallagher in the pivot because like that's our only real hope. But just put Mudrick in 10 and hey, well, we'll see. We'll see. Sterling was frustrating as hell, but he got, he got an assist. So it's typical Raheem Sterling, in my opinion. But the laziness off the ball just really, really needs to improve, especially in the second half. Although I, I feel like actually in the second half, that was more of a tactical instruction because I barely saw anybody pressing. We were just dropping back. Passive as hell. Like, this was my problem. We, need, we should be putting the pressure on leads and at least trying to get a third before you do that. Consolidate the game. Why are you doing that at 2-1? Because you just invite pressure, and then we concede again. Like we always do it with this fucking dickhead. We always do this with Pochettino. We sit back, we invite pressure at any point when we have the lead because he's a pussy. He's an absolute pussy. But thankfully, Leeds didn't bring on their forwards until the last 10 minutes. So they weren't really that switched on. They were still getting into the game. And thankfully, the subs are correct from Pochettino. They were all right, even though we had very limited options there. I didn't really like pushing um, Mudrick back onto the left and putting Gallagher in the 10, but it worked. So I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, then we brought on Palmer as well, which made it an even more safer alternative to do. Gusto had to come off because he played 120 minutes. And then I forgot, I think Mudrick came off and we brought on... Um, one of the youth players, I forgot what his name, Jimmy something, Terraria, and I'll probably get his name wrong, but whatever, whatever. But so yeah, I don't really have a problem with Poch's subs. 
So you can't call me an agenda merchant for throughout the game. But you can't tell me that this guy coached a good game. Like this was all individuals yet again. All individuals. So big up to the individuals for that. But we have a chance to win the FA Cup now. You got a good opportunity. Um, I say that loosely, by the way. I say that very loosely because I know Liverpool, City, United are all still in there. But United are about to get knocked out by Liverpool. Hopefully Man City can do a job for the Blue Brothers and knock out Liverpool in the semis. I hope that draw happens. And I would happily take Manchester City. Obviously, if we can find our way there ourselves. Let me not even get above myself and think we can just walk into the FA Cup. I'm just begging for that trophy. We need that. We need that more than anything. Please, I beg, go and win that trophy. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's good to be back after a win. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Get Poch out of the club immediately. Immediately.